Morning. So the U.S. jobless claims might have fallen for the first time in months, but investors' enthusiasm fell somewhat. Pfizer's is having supply chain problems, meaning that the initial distribution of vaccines might be halved. Price action was relatively solid, though. The S&P closed flat, but at the previous record. And the Nasdaq rose to new highs, tech stocks, of course, benefiting from a prolonged stay-at-home economy. What didn't go up, though, was the dollar, continuing an abysmal descent uh, that it started earlier this week. The positive side is, of course, is giving an opportunity for gold to climb back up slowly, now at 1,840. The crypto space uh, were also up. Bitcoin, which had revisited the 18Ks, showed some resilience and inched back to the mid-19K, so currently we're at 19,440. And I like to think of this stage as almost an actor about to get on stage. So Bitcoin is torn between the fear and the excitement of making it go at 20K. And of course, if we breach through, it will be met with cheers. If we fall below and, and don't succeed, probably disappointment. On the side, side of alt, it's a bit of a mixed picture. So Ethereum is leading up 3.5%. Um, Cardano, Monero, and Tezos are just barely in the green. And then Chainlink, Le uh, Litecoin, uh, Stellar are closing flat. And then uh, Polkadot is closing just a tad down. I've been always a bit contrarian, a bit bearish with, in regards to price action. And I remain so. Uh, whales have been reducing their withdrawal. So it means there's more coins on exchange. And typically, that's been linked with selling or sideways market. And then also I'm very cognizant of this rally occurring in a more derivatives filled uh, environment and so a lot more leverage, which feel good on the way up, but less good on the way down. So it's just something that I wanted to share and, and to be cognizant of. There is plenty of positive news in the crypto space, though. Um, first, the S&P Dow Jones indices are set to launch cryptocurrency indices um, by 2021. And regardless of what that means for trading or activity, it's a major show of goodwill towards the crypto space. It's also interesting to see Raul Pal's financial TV channel, Real Vision, um, investing about 10% of its cash holdings in Bitcoin. Um, we're also seeing Valor, a Swiss provider of investment products, just launching a free fee Bitcoin ETP, which is naturally adding to the legitimacy of the crypto space, but also helping us reach a broader base of users. And then lastly, but definitely not least, Spotify might be accepting cryptocurrencies as payment. And that might feel a bit trivial in the current environment, but I think it's massive that a company with such a broad base of user um, would be accepting cryptocurrencies. And of course, it's very supportive to mass adoption. That's it for me today. I wish you a great day, a great trading day, and also a great weekend because we're Friday.